Hello and welcome to this week's Thrive in Five. I'm Leanne Spencer. This is all about the art of saying no and why saying no every now and again can really help with your work-life balance or work-life blend as I prefer to call it, but also with your stress levels and your overall well-being. I think a lot of people um, who are chronically stressed, not all of course, um, or suffer from burnout or at risk of burnout often have an issue saying no. And a lot of the pressures, external pressures that face us now, you know, technology, busy lives, austere times also make it quite difficult sometimes for us to say no but it's really important to do so and I think it's like anything it's like a muscle you need to practice it you need to train it so my challenge to you is very quick and very simple try saying no to something once a day it might be sugar and coffee or it might be staying late or taking on a piece of work that you know realistically you can't complete without having to sacrifice family time But the more you do it, the more you hear the word come out of your mouth and then see that reaction is potentially nothing like you'd imagine. For example, you may say no to something and the response you get is, "Okay, I guess it can wait or I'll ask someone else or no worries. It isn't that important anyway. But challenge it. Just try saying no and practice it with the small things. And then you can start putting it into practice with the bigger stuff when you're a bit more confident and less fearful of the response. But I guarantee to you, if at the appropriate time, you say no to something, you're going to feel grateful for yourself that you've done it. You'll feel more confident and emboldened because you've practiced doing it and nothing bad really happened. And ultimately, it'll free up a little bit more headspace and a bit more bandwidth to do things that you really want to do. And the impact on that on well-being is absolutely massive. So that's it. Practice saying no to something once a day. Start small, see how you feel and take it from there. All the best for now.